finally, after all these months I've been waiting, some actual content. Now, some of you may be thinking there's some sort of event because, you know, the uh, pirate thing, you know, there's a lot of hype. It's actually just a bunch of pirate skins. That's all there is. The more juicy part I want to take a look at are the tower rebalances. Some other things are new maps, reduced skin crate prices. Damn, look how cheap toy is. And other changes as well. And finally, in-depth change log on tower stats are available in our chat server. Thank you! Finally! So these are all the changes, which I'll go more in depth into a bit. You can buy one pirate crate for 3,500 coins. I wonder what I'll get. I got a pirate hunter. I'm never going to use that tower in my life. Wait, if I buy the bundle for 600 Robux, does this mean I could just buy a crate, open it, and I just get scammed? Yeah, I, I just scammed myself. <laughs> I, was, I scammed myself, dude. Oh, my God. wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I got to claim all these things. Got it. All right, guys. I just wasted two crates. Yeah, see, like, I got checks on all of them, okay? I'm going to buy another crate. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Oh, okay. I definitely scammed myself with the bundle and then buying crates, but it's fine. I, I, I don't care. I'll be honest. I haven't played TDS in so long, and it's just really just because, uh, well, the past update's been skin crates. And guess what we've got today? Skin crates. They don't really add any actual content to game gameplay wise. They just, you know, spend money to look cooler, which I don't mind. It's just that it's been about eight months since a new tower was added to the game. And the last event was, well, I don't know when that was even a thing. Yeah, but that's why I've been MIA for the most part with all the updates and stuff going on. This is such a bad map to showcase the skins on. Oh my God. Four motors. What the hell, dude? Anyways, this is the max level motor right here. Just looks like a giant water cannon thing. Four, three, what's the difference between these two? Oh, it's just way bigger. Two, level one, and then level zero looking like a, just a pleb. God, damn, this farm is so big. This is not a normal size farm. Look, you, you just clip it right next to each other. This is not normal. They did not account for that fact there. Look, dude, you can, you, you, you can stick that farmer to the path. This, this isn't right. Anyways, there's level one, level two, level three, which you can say, what the hell is that? A, a Tommy gun, a Thompson, but it's blue. And then a Tommy gun. Now, do the quick bosses spawn in cool stuff? No, it still looks the same goddamn thing. The pirate commander now wields a giant sword and a little funny gun. What will he do for his ability? <laughs> he still he still saves my line. As for far, it just cause a boat inside the water. I guess they go out and loot stuff and things like that. But they just have like ships things of that the, the nature with cash journey as normal there's no one even steering this boat it's just a floating boat with bags of money no one is steering the boat dude where the hell are the people steering this thing only as normal little the walk animation <laughs> tds did a twitter post and the responses aren't actually that great mid update again please make something to change the game a little and stop with the skin creates creates not crates I love this game. I want to see the new content make the game fun again. It's been a year since an event. It would have been really cool. These were scans for an event instead of being the millionth crate. Not an event, bro. I don't think anyone said it was an event. <laughs> Imagine an actual off that. Of course, it just gets done this video. Nice. Can't wait to play the game for like 15 minutes and leave out of boredom. This is the 10th crate this year. Just give us an event. More skins. Wow, that is the most, um, I just, I just read his username. Nice, bro. Keep it up, my man. Goofy update. Bring back Umbra. B.S. We ain't been waiting half and more of a year for the new season of it. This is all you give us. Honestly, I regret spending every single Robux I spent a year game. Can you make a redacted of every you in us legit stop caring about the game? These updates are half big. B.S. Oh, God, dude. Bro, the uh, Discord server recent updates are based on mistake years ago. They're making the game more grunty in return for skin, and then it just gets meme on this wall of meme tags. Now then, onwards to test the rebalances. I didn't bring Golden Cowboy because if you just look at the change, it's just more cash, which is cool. 
As for Dilma Man, the tower that I highly praise it for, it's even better now with a faster fire rate, dude. 1.2 seconds. And that's just by itself. Imagine with the, the support towers, man. And now he detects stealth, dude. You can't get any better than this, fellas. It's, it's one of the best towers in the game for the value. And it's and it's even more true. Now, look at that range. Just by itself. Warden has also received some changes as well. Just basically being, you know, more damage and stuff, cheaper, and things like that. But the big one is a max damage increase to 100 per swing. And now you can place down 20 of them. I wonder if it's possible to beat down a tank with this. Hold on. I have spawned in one tank. Can you? Oh my god. I forgot. He gets stunned as well, dude. He's just gonna get beamed. The 100 damage is so much better. Oh my god, he got killed so fast. And now he swings every 0.8 seconds uh, because his cooldown has been made uh, faster now. So Warden is just overall better. You know, I'm not really a big fan of Accelerator that much, but it has been rebalanced. I just don't really like it because it's like required in all hard events. It's like, wow, let me just grind for this gym tower thing. That's even harder stealth station got a uh, bumped up to look to level one so it no longer spawns with it the amount of overcharge has been increased as well so you can deal more damage before he needs to cool down his little thing and he's been made slightly cheaper costing uh wait from thirty four thousand. Oh wait he no it did the price got increased to thirty four thousand. and his range at max also has been decreased as well this is still Fairly decent range though. Now, as for Crook Boss, is a bit odd because it says guards spawn faster but have a more restricted spawn limit. I really don't know what that means. But now, but now guards spawn at level one, so yay, just really cheap to go ahead and get in for the Crook Boss. Hey guys, is it just me or did, or did the range of these guys get increased by a lot? As for the restricted spawning, I really don't know what that means because there's a three spawn limit already. So and you know there's three right here. I don't know what exactly is restricted about it. Golden Power Master has had just overall more DPS, and I'm just gonna assume that's from the fire rate, and also, I'm not sure about the damage. Look at him go, just spraying that thing around. Around town. <laughs> uh, these guys are not catching fire. I, I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing or not. Those are pretty much all the tower rebalances. I'm not sure how, how that's gonna affect the meta or anything. I'm not kept up to date on that. But Warden is just overall better and Dome Man fellas, again, we are sleepy on this. This is just simply one of the best towers for the value. I think Dome Man deserves yet another video on him.